Hi, I'm Ethan Kwan, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Discord bot from scratch. Not with scratch, from scratch. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to be using something called Node.js combined with Discord.js, which is a programming, lab, lab, pro pro programming library designed for making Discord bots in JavaScript. And Node.js is how we uh, run the bot. Okay, uh, so uh, let's get started with the tutorial. So, um, we are going to be using discord.js v14, and what we're going to need to do first, before we do anything else, is install node.js, because we need to be able to run our Discord bot. Okay, so let's get started by opening a browser tab, and just searching up node.js, node.js, and we're just going to click the first link, this is going to be in the description, this node.js.org, that's going to be in the description below. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and download the uh, recommended for most users version, not the latest features, just the recommended for most users. That will work fine for our purposes. So just go ahead and click that. And once it's done, just open it. Yep, there it is. So it'll just say, welcome to Node.js setup wizard. This setup will also install, this setup will install Node.js. So just go ahead and click through the uh, install process. And... Yeah, install. And just it'll just take a bit, take a second, and there you go. Now Node.js is installed. So you can just go ahead and click finish. So now Node.js is installed. Next thing we have to download is uh, Visual Studio Code. So what we're going to do is move on to another tab. Just search up VS Code. And we're just going to click the first link there. And all we're going to do is click download for Windows. And it should download and then it'll give us a setup. Once it opens, you just go through the process like before. Now, I already have Visual Studio Code on my computer, so I don't have to go through this again, but you will need to go through this and install Visual Studio Code on your computer. Okay, um, so what you're gonna do is now, what we're gonna do is open up Visual Studio Code, and this is what you're gonna get. Uh, you might get like a warning or pop-up. Just ignore it. Just say yes to everything or you might want to read it I don't really I don't really know. I don't remember uh, So what we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead and we're just gonna create a, a new file folder on our computer You can put it wherever you want. I'm gonna put it on my documents. Just create a new folder called tutorial bot or this is gonna be the name of your bot on your computer. This is gonna be the well, so, sorry this is gonna be the home base for all your Discord bot, Discord bot files. So just name it something memorable and just create a folder. And then inside Visual Studio Code, we're gonna go in and click open folder and then go to documents and click that new tutorial bot uh, that we just created, select folder. All right, and it, you, might, you might get a pop-up like this, just say, I, yes, I trust the authors. And okay, so now we are in Visual Studio Code. Um, okay we can run, we can create a new terminal. So we're gonna go ahead and click terminal in the top bar here. If you're on a Mac, it would be on the top here, at the top of the screen. Uh, if you're on Windows, it should be here. Click terminal, new terminal, and click, uh, and then type npm, mp, npm init. And then you can either add Y, this will skip everything and make our tutorial uh, make our tutorial a bit faster, or you can just type npm in it, and it'll give you a bunch of options. Uh, it, it won't do anything, it's, it's just the same thing. Y just skips all the steps that you have to go through. Uh, just click that, and just let it think for a second, and there you go. So now you might notice that there's a package.json file in your tutorial bot folder. So, now we're going to create two more files. We're going to call, we're going to call one index.js and we're going to create another one called .env, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and create a new application for this bot on Discord. So this is kind of important. We have to actually create a Discord bot. Um, so what we're going to do is go to the third link in the description. This is going to be... Um, um, so this is going to be in the third link in the description. And uh, basically, uh, this is where we're going to create our Discord bot. So go ahead and click New Application and create a new bot. I'm going to call it Tutorial Bot. And make sure to just, just click the check mark here and create. Okay. 
So now you have a Discord bot uh, application. So uh, just make sure if you want, you can choose a neat icon. I'm going to add a new description. And uh, what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and uh, uh, click on the bot tab on the side here. So go ahead and click bot. Oh, make sure to save changes. And then now go ahead and click bot. Add bot. Yes, do it. And there you go. So now you can choose another profile picture here if you want. You can change the username of the bot, anything you want. Uh, and then make sure to just click gate uh, all the check marks here in the gateway attempts. Otherwise, later in later down the road, your built bot might might, 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 bleh, bleh, <laughs> might not work correctly. So make sure to just click all these check marks here. All right. And then now what we're gonna go go do is click the OAuth to slot. Go ahead and click url generator and then what we're going to do is click some uh commands here all we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and click bot and make sure to click application commands there you go and then down here um you can you can set your permissions for your discord bot here i'm just going to click administrator and you probably should too later down the road i would say just click these check marks uh, individually see what your discord bot might need but for now just for the tutorial, we can just click administrator. We can change this anytime we want. So, and then what we're going to do is we're going to get a link down here. And what we're just going to do is copy, uh, paste it into a browser. And what we're going to do is go ahead and actually, so before we do this, we have to go, go ahead and go to Discord. All right, and once you're in Discord, all you're going to do is click this little add button to add a server. And then just create my own. And you can click either, either one. I'm just going to click for me and my friends. Uh, this server name is fine. If you want to change it to like bot test server or something like that, that's fine. Uh, you can add an icon. I'm not going to add an icon. Uh, create a server. And there we go. Now we have our how to do, how to do stuff with Ethan server. And then what we're going to do is go back to this tab, hit refresh. Uh, hit refresh right here. And then we're just going to go ahead and select the server that we just got. And continue. And just click authorize. Click Ion Human. You might have to do a captcha. No, nope, okay. And now you should have tutorial bot join the party or tutorial bot added to the server or something like that. But as you can see, our tutorial bot right now is offline. So how do we get it online? Well, before we do that, first of all, we need to grab our token for our Discord bot. So what we're going to do is grab our token. Um, this token is kind of like a password into your bot, so don't share this with anyone. Uh, if you do share it, just click reset token. Um, I am going to click this and I'm going to reset it after video, so you won't, you, won't, you won't be able to hack my bot, but paste it into our Visual Studio Code.env file. We're just going to call it token in all capitals equals, and then just paste, uh, just paste our token in there. All right, that's our token. That's our token done. So, uh, what we're going to do is before we build our bot, we have to go back into a terminal again and just, just type npmi discord.js.env. Just click enter, and that should do a few things. So, just, just give it a second, and there you go. So, as you can see, uh, two more files should have been created. One is a folder called node modules, and it's just a bunch of random folders for running discord.js. And this one is for a bunch of other stuff that I'm not sure what this does, honestly, but just ignore it for now. It should just work properly. Okay, so now we have to go into our, uh, well, first of all, make sure to save, save your uh, .env file. So save, and there you go. So make sure to save that because, or else discord.js won't be able to read .env files if it's not saved. Um, index.js, okay. So inside index.js, we have to add some new things. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and type const. Uh, this is for declaring a variable. And we're just going to type uh, two curly brackets, space, space. And in between the spaces, we're just going to do client, client, and then comma, and then gateway intent bits. And those are for creating our Discord button. And then just type equals require discord.js and make sure this is in quotes. And then one more thing, we're just going to go ahead and require uh, uh, quotes.env. Oh, 
dot env v <laughs> slash config like that um and then just add a uh, semicolon back there okay now what we're gonna do is go ahead and create a const uh, you can either call this client or bot. I'm going to call it client. This is very important, by the way. Make sure to call it uh, something memorable, because this is going to be coming up very often in your code. Const client equals new client. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and do, do two curly, break it, uh, curly brackets and then a semicolon. And then inside those curly brackets, just add another pair of um, uh, squiggly brackets and then just press enter that should create a new line and all we're gonna do is go ahead and say intents and then just do a colon uh, and then square brackets enter gateway intent bits dot guilds guilds in capitals guilds comma gate gateway intent bits dot uh, guild messages I'm pretty sure guild messages and gateway dot gateway intent bits dot message message content and don't add a semicolon after that don't add anything after that that's it okay so we can go ahead and close that we well we, we, we can just go ahead and close that if you want, just to make it stuff more concise. Okay, now we're going to go to the very bottom of our code. Well, actually, no, not yet. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and type client.on ready. Uh, this is make sure, and this is in quotes, ready, comma, two curly brackets, an arrow function, which you might not know what is this is yet, and then we're just going to do two curly brackets, and just put a colon at the end there, a semicolon, and then just press enter. And now we can just go ahead and console.log. This will add something, this will input something into the console right here. This is the console. Console.log uh, bot is online. All right. And then now all we have to do is go ahead and log in our bot to discord.js. So, uh, to discord. So, what we're going to do is go ahead and do Go to the very bottom of our code, just add a bunch of lines, and you don't have to do this, and I just find it convenient. And then just do uh, client dot, or if you called it bot, then if you call it bot here, then make sure to do, do bot, but I did client, so client, client dot login with our Discord token. And uh, just do process dot env dot token, like that. Uh, and then this should um, this should access our .env file. So just do uh, just save this, save, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and type node space dot, and this should start up our Discord bot. If not, then there's some error, and I will see if there's an error and see if I can fix it. But run it. There we go, bot is online. And now if we go ahead and check our Discord, as you can see, tutorial bot has changed its status to online, which is amazing because now we can actually write commands. As you can see in the about me, there's a cool message that you should probably might want to do. Um, anyway, so now we have our tutorial bot up and running. Now what do we do? Well, every time you want to start up your Discord bot, all you're going to have to do is run node space dot. All right, there you go. Okay, now let's write our first command, because now we know that our Discord bot is up and online. So we're just going to go ahead and here, we're just going to go ahead and type client.on message create, message create, comma, message, oh, not, not in quotes, message, and an arrow function. Another error function. Yeah, I know. Very complex. Okay. And then just do, do quotes and then just add a com, uh, semicolon at the end. Just add a bunch of lines in here as well. And then inside here, we're just going to go ahead and type if message.content equals ping 
uh, two quotes, two, sorry, two curly brackets right there. I'll make this bigger, actually. Uh, then, message dot reply, pong. And that's how you communicate, that's how you communicate with our Discord bot. So now what we're going to do here is just do control C, node, space, dot. And that should refresh our Discord bot. So all we're going to do is write ping, and if we did everything right, the bot should reply pong. Yeah, okay. So now we have our first command in place. Uh, okay, how long have we been report recording for? I have no idea. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please consider subscribing. I, I'm probably going to do another, another video on this sometime in the future, so stay tuned for that. Uh, make sure to hit the notification bell just so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Goodbye.